Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Salem. And tonight our question comes to us from Red Dragon. And Red Dragon asked me to speak to the idea of goddess as spiritual and god as material and what this means. And Red Dragon says that he's often had difficulty understanding this, and I think that's true for many people. So I'm going to try to speak to it, though I do want to emphasize that this is not really a three-minute conversation. Uh, it's part of what I would consider fairly high-level theology. Uh, we have to start first with our understanding that when we speak about deity, deity can be accessed from many different levels. We often speak of deity as being like a diamond, one stone with many facets. But along with those many facets are also many levels, many angles that you can view deity from. We can see deity as many individual deities. We can see deity as cosmic forces. We can see deity in a very impersonal way and also a very personal way. It all depends on how we're looking. When we speak of goddess as being spiritual and God as being physical, we're looking at deity as the cosmic forces that are also often called yin and yang, Protos and epistrophe, apiron and piron, and many other names. Uh, it is the idea of the going out and the coming in, and the idea that deity is a constant tide. It evolves outward and involves back inward. And as soon as it has gone to the fullest extreme in one direction, it will come back in the other. And the nature of all existence is reflecting this energy. We see this in the wheel of the year, wherein the light grows stronger and then weaker, uh, wherein the plant world bursts into wonderful green and abundance and harvest and then goes into winter. Uh, we see it in the tides of the ocean. And the idea is that the nature of deity also has these two primary aspects, uh, which again are going forward and drawing backward, going outward and coming inward. And when we show, for example, the symbols of the degrees which we use, they represent this process of involution and evolution. Uh, when we look at most of our theology, most of our myths, we'll see, uh, particularly in, for example, the myth of the descent of the goddess, we'll see this idea played out. Uh, and so this is part of what we're talking about. When we talk about goddess as being spiritual and God as being physical, we're not talking about any particular goddess or God. We're speaking of the cosmic powers in a manner that transcends personality or individual form, though we may personify them, uh, but we're speaking of them in a very existential way. So I hope that this helps to clarify the idea, uh, and until next time, may you blessed be. But wait, don't forget our books, Witch School First, Second, and Third Degree, and also Living the Wicked Life, and Ritual in Theory and Practice, available at a bookstore near you, or get them direct from us at www.witchschoolstore.com.